May the peace of the Lord be with you all, as we bring to you the readings of today's Holy Mass. Let us now listen to the Word of God. April 18th, 2024, Thursday of the third week of Easter. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Now an angel of the Lord spoke to Philip, saying, Rise up and go toward the south, to the way which descends from Jerusalem into Gaza, where there is a desert. And rising up, he went. And behold, an Ethiopian man, a eunuch, powerful under Candace, the queen of the Ethiopians, who was over all her treasures, had arrived in Jerusalem to worship. And while returning, he was sitting upon his chariot and reading from the prophet Isaiah. Then the Spirit said to Philip, Draw near and join yourself to this chariot. And Philip, hurrying, heard him reading from the prophet Isaiah, and he said, Do you think that you understand what you are reading? And he said, But how can I, unless someone will have revealed it to me? And he asked Philip to climb up and sit with him. Now the place in scripture that he was reading was this. Like a sheep he was led to the slaughter. And like a lamb silent before his shearer, so he opened not his mouth. He endured his judgment with humility. Who of his generation shall describe how his life was taken away from the earth? Then the eunuch responded to Philip, saying, I beg you, about whom is the prophet saying this? about himself, or about someone else. Then Philip, opening his mouth and beginning from this scripture, evangelized Jesus to him. And while they were going along the way, they arrived at a certain water source. And the eunuch said, There is water. What would prevent me from being baptized? Then Philip said, If you believe from your whole heart, it is permitted. And he responded by saying, I believe the Son of God to be Jesus the Christ. And he ordered the chariot to stand still. And both Philip and the eunuch descended into the water. And he baptized him. And when they had ascended from the water, the Spirit of the Lord took Philip away, and the eunuch did not see him any more. Then he went on his way, rejoicing. Now Philip was found in Azotus. And continuing on, he evangelized all the cities until he arrived in Caesarea. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. O oh, bless our God, you Gentiles! and make the voice of his praise to be heard. Who has set my soul to live, and has not allowed my feet to be moved? Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Come and hear, all you who fear God, and I will tell you what great things he has done for my soul. I cried to him with my mouth, and I extolled him with my tongue. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Blessed be God, who has not turned away my prayer, nor his mercy from me. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to the crowds, No one is able to come to me unless the Father, who has sent me, has drawn him. And I will raise him up on the last day. It has been written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught by God. Everyone who has listened and learned from the Father comes to me. Not that anyone has seen the Father, except he who is from God, this one has seen the Father. Amen, Amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me has eternal life. I am the bread of life. Your fathers ate manna in the desert, and they died. This is the bread which descends from heaven, so that if anyone will eat from it, he may not die. 
I am the living bread, who descended from heaven. If anyone eats from this bread, he shall live in eternity. And the bread that I will give is my flesh, for the life of the world. The Gospel of the Lord Reflection How does the belief in the Holy Eucharist shape your understanding of Jesus' promise to give his flesh for the life of the world? I am the living bread that came down from heaven, whoever eats this bread will live forever, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. John 6 verse 51 Jesus was starting to stir up the emotions of some within the crowd. They began to ridicule him because he had said that he was the bread that had come down from heaven. Thus, many of those who had sought Jesus out in hopes of another miraculous free meal began to murmur among themselves and ridicule him. As a result, Jesus began to speak even more clearly and shockingly. He then went even further and said that he is not only the living bread that came down from heaven, but that those who want to live forever must also eat his flesh. How would you have reacted to such a statement if you were among those within the crowd? Consider the fact that you would have recently seen, with your own eyes, the miracle of the multiplication of the loaves and fishes. Therefore, you would have realized that Jesus was someone special, to say the least. But how would you have reacted to this statement of Jesus, and the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world, if you had heard it spoken at that time? Most likely, your reaction would have been the same reaction that you have right now to the teaching of the Most Holy Eucharist. Many who heard Jesus speak this way may have thought it was a bit of an unusual thing to say. Some would have reacted strongly while others would have reacted with indifference. But some would have had an entirely different reaction. Some would have heard Jesus speak these new and shocking words, would have realized that they did not fully understand what he meant, but would have believed deeply on account of the gift of faith. Somehow they would have known, in the depths of their consciences, that they did indeed need to eat the flesh of him who came down from heaven, since he was indeed the bread of life. Believing in the Eucharist, in the fact that these tangible and visible gifts of the sacred host and the precious blood are in fact the body and blood, soul and divinity of the eternal Son of God can only happen through the interior and transforming gift of faith. How else can you believe such a teaching? How else could you believe that these words in today's gospel have come true? And that the reception of the Most Holy Eucharist is the pathway to eternal life? The gift of faith in the Most Holy Eucharist is the one and only way to understand, accept, and deeply believe what our Lord has spoken in this Holy Gospel. Reflect today upon Jesus speaking these Most Holy Words for the first time, the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. As you prayerfully reflect upon these words, Ponder how deeply you believe them. How deep is your faith in the Most Holy Eucharist? The Eucharist is the fulfillment of this passage, and our Divine Lord invites you to not only believe in His holy words, but to allow this truth to transform you in ways beyond what you could ever imagine. Let us pray. My Eucharistic Lord, you are truly the bread of life, and all those who eat your flesh and drink your blood will inherit eternal life. I do believe this, dear Lord. I believe that the Most Holy Eucharist is you, your soul and divinity, given to me, so that I can share in your holy life. Give me the grace I need to deepen my faith in the Most Holy Eucharist, so that I will be drawn more fully into the joys of your eternal kingdom. Jesus, I trust in you. Amen.
Thank you for listening to the readings and reflection of today's Mass. Please like, subscribe, and share with your family and friends. Again, thank you, and may God bless us all.